County Fair. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, after a long year off with COVID and social distancing and all things misery. We are back to the San Pete County Fair. We appreciate everybody coming out tonight and being with us. We're excited to be here. We're excited to have some fun right here in the heart of San Pete County. My name's John Bear. I'm going to be your announcer tonight. I grew up just down the road here in Manti. I need to know how many people from Manti do we got here with us tonight? All right, I like it. How about from Gunnison? We got anybody from Gunnison? All righty, I like it. Mount Pleasant, North San Pete. Indianola. We got all three of them from Indianola. Fountain Green, where are you? All righty, Fountain Green. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we appreciate you being here with us tonight. We got a few folks we want to introduce. Is my royalty ready? They went around the other gate. I'm going to give them just a second. All righty. You see the cloud of dust, that's the royalty coming around to the other gate. They're on their way in. Come on in. They're riding in the Sterling Fire Department truck, so somebody needs to be prepared to jump in and give them a push. Do we got any Sterling Bandits with us here tonight? Yeah, we got all three of those too. Is that still a thing? Do we still call them Sterling Bandits? No? If you're from Manta, you do. Alrighty, folks. Let's invite into the arena. We have our Miss Queen Ashton Childs from Centerville. First attendant, Hope Marcy from Manta. Our Teen Queen, Lakely Brotherson from Wales. First attendant, Allie Hatch from Sterling. Second attendant, Madison Shelley from Mount Pleasant. And our San Pete County sweetheart, Sarah Everett. Our junior princess, Kinley Kelso. And our second attendant, Cadence Allred. Welcome, welcome. Look at this, folks. We got the Manti City Fire Department coming around. We got the Stars and Stripes on there. Next, we got the Gunnison Valley Fire Department. Well, I tell you what. The old Bulldogs, they know how to paint a fire engine down there. <laughs> Fountain Green, welcome to the arena, boys. That's a good looking machine there. Mount Pleasant. Is next in the arena. There we go, folks. Let's give them all a big hand. Indian Ola making an appearance. <laughs> You know it's a party when Indian is in the arena. I tell you what, folks. There's a lot of pennies in the arena right now, tied up in those, those machines. 
and there's some of San Pete County's finest, our first responders, that spend all kinds of time training away from their families, missing ball games and cheer competitions, so that they can be ready when you and I need them. We're going to have a lot of fun tonight with these guys and gals. But ladies and gentlemen, will you join me for just a quick second and give them a big round of applause as we show them how much we appreciate their efforts and their dedication to the good people of San Pete County. How about one more big round of applause for them, ladies and gentlemen? All right. I like it. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We mentioned earlier that we're back after a year off because of COVID. Although we're here and we're looking forward to having a good time. It's different now, and every single one of us knows somebody that is not here with us that we have lost to the pandemic. Ladies and gentlemen, if everybody would please join with me in just a few moments of silence in remembrance of all the good souls that we have lost over this last year. Thank you. All right, folks. And now my favorite part of any event. We're going to have our national anthem. It is truly our honor tonight to have our junior Miss Sandpeat, the one and only local legend, Madison Moulton, here to sing our national anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please stand? Gentlemen, remove the cover. folks 
We want to thank our sponsors for our great event tonight. A to Z Glass, Sean Nielsen from Centerfield, Auton Auto Works at Gunnison, Main Auto at CarQuest of Manti, Dragonfly Processing, Hills Heating and Air from Gunnison, Das Cafe in Spring City, Debbie and Stan Curtis of Springville, Main Freeze and Shelley's in Gunnison. All right, ladies and gentlemen. You think we ought to recognize him? I think we ought to. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been uh, brought to my attention that we have local celebrity with us here tonight. The one and only Jared Buchanan, otherwise known as Sheriff Buchanan. Sheriff, why don't you raise your hand over there? There he is, right there. I sat by for the ball game the other night. He didn't even shoot anybody. I was impressed. Good to have you with us, Sheriff. Ladies and gentlemen, also, I need to remind everybody over there. The first six rows are what we call the splash zone. You will get wet at some point. That's okay. Some of y'all need a bath anyway. It's been a long week. folks. I'm going to have everybody's attention for one second before we turn these guys loose. We're going to hurry and say the fireman's prayer. When I am called to duty, God, wherever flames may rage, give me strength to save some life, whatever be its age. Help me embrace a little child before it's too late, or save an older person from the horror of that place. Enable me to be alert, to hear the weakest shout, quickly and efficiently fire out. I want to fill my calling and to give the best in me, to guard my every neighbor and protect his property. And if, according to my fates, I am to lose my life, please bless with your protecting hand my children and my wife. Once again, we want to thank all of our firemen for being here. All of our first responders, I think, uh, Lately, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know about yourself, but I have a whole new respect for what these good folks go through. We appreciate them being here. We appreciate their dedication, their service. And tonight, we're going to see who's the toughest. Is it going to be somebody from North Sand Pete? Is it going to be somebody from South Sand Pete? Is my hometown Manti department going to come through and make me proud? Alrighty. Are we ready, folks? Are we ready to get started? I believe the first race tonight, we would probably we probably ought to get our royalty out of the arena before they become casualties, right? We'll let our royalty clear the arena and then we're gonna go ahead. We're going to have our departments get ready. First up is going to be the Wild Land Race. The Wild Land Race. Oh, they're making you walk? They're making you walk? That's all right. You're young and energetic. You can walk. Your generation needs to learn the value of hard work anyway. Alrighty boys and 
and girls, get ready. First up's the Wild Land Race. Four members of each department will compete with one starting at each station. Previous stations must be finished before starting the next station. First thing they got to do is assemble and light the drip torch and run it 10 yards to the marker. Then they have to put out the drip torch. Build a solid fire line 10 yards using their tool of choice. Assemble the fire shelter and get in. Hopefully y'all brought a fire shelter. All four members run to the wildland truck, take a one inch hose with a three quarter reducer hook it to a three-quarter hose, run it back to the start of the drip torch and spray the cone, which will be back at the start line of the drip torch challenge. The first team to spray the cone will win this challenge. Now, I can't remember who the reigning wildland race champion is. I'm sure it's man. What about whales? Don't they have an apartment? Sessions. They just brought us some hot dogs, some nachos, cotton candy. Oh, yeah. That is not keto. That is not keto. That is not cotton keto. All right, are we getting her set up? It might be a little rusty on setting up the challenge. Make me get Sheriff Buchanan out there to get after you. You don't got to worry though, there's a lot of you here. He only has one boy. About 800? Wow! I like it. 800. My kids graduated from a high school for them. Oh, here comes Manti City rolling in. Now, Manti, I hate to put the pressure on you, but if you boys let me down, I'm going to be hard on you. I mean, there's certain appearances that need to be kept up if you're a temperate. If you're a bulldog, not so much. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You know, I was uh, back east here a little while ago. Somebody asked me where I was from. I told them I was from a little town called Manti, Utah. We got talking about high school mascots, and I told them, yeah, my mascot was a Templar, and they got Google and Manti, and they says, is that because there's one of them Mormon temples there? And I says, no, in fact, Templars are Catholics. 
How many of you knew that? We're not Templars because of the temple. If you look on the floor in there, there's a big old night. It's a religious night, a Catholic night. I went to school and graduated as a Mormon and a proud Catholic. Does Indianola go to North San Pete High School? Yeah. Well, I might explain a few things. If you go to school at all. Well, Gunnison has the prison, Manti administers the prison, and North San Pete makes sure the inmate population stays steady. <laughs> All righty, folks, they get set up down there. Once again, they got to light the drip torch, run it 10 yards to the marker, put out the drip torch, build a fire line, 10 yards, two of your choice. Assemble a fire shelter and get in. All right. And reminding you, the first six rows are going to get wet. Found green, that's a snazzy looking truck, Found green. protection and a hard hat. Not a rubber hat, a hard hat. We got our judges down there. Now judges, I'm going to be watching. If I see any kind of favoritism, any kind of shady scorekeeping, if it looks like you are mishandling the votes in any way, we will recount and audit you immediately. Okay? We will then call CNN to defend you and Fox News to debunk all the men. So please know that we are watching. Are we ready? Is Manti ready? Is Gunnison ready? Is Indianola, the independent commonwealth of Indianola? Fountain Green? I don't know if they'll ever be ready. 
Mount Pleasant, Gunnison. All right, here we go, here we go. Judges, are you ready? Is there anybody not ready? We got Fountain Green squared away. All's good. I'm going to give you the countdown. Help me out, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to count backwards from five and we'll say go. Is everybody ready out there? No? What is the hold up? Hold up. We're struggling. We're struggling. Indianola can't find the shovel. Bulldog is running loose in Gunnison. Are we ready yet? The crowd's ready. Firefighters ready. Are we ready? Help me out. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, go! I can't see what they're doing, so you gotta help me. It looks like there's somebody busy down in there. Oh, 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 here we go, here we go. Fire line being built. Oh, he, there, we already got one. Look at Gunnison is running away with it. He's getting in his... Uh, He's getting in his burrito. There we go, there we go. They're hooking up the hose, they're hooking up the hose. It looks like Gunnison might be the team to beat here. As much as it tastes like vinegar for a Templar to say that, I think we're in business. Gunnison! Gunnison! Who's going to be first? Who's going to be second? Mount Pleasant, is that right? Mount Pleasant's number two. Manti, what's the hold up? Indianola's got it! Oh! Oh! Indianola, like the special forces of Sandy County. Gunnison, Mount Pleasant, Indianola, Manti finally getting it together. What's going on down there with Fountain Green? Oh, we got some kinks in the bones. Come on, boys. There we go, there we go. Gunnison, number one, Indianola at Mount Pleasant. Gunnison, Mount Pleasant, Indianola. Manti, finally, and then Fountain Green. Alrighty. Oh, well, looks like we got some water going into the stands over there. First six rows are going to get wet. That's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. All right. Where's 
my Gunnison Bulldogs out there. You cheering on your boys? Let's hear it. They finished first. South Sand Pete coming through in the clutch. I know, man. I was struggling. Man, I was struggling. Uh, they're just getting warmed up. They'll be all right. They'll be all right. I have faith. I have faith in my boys and girls. One thing you know as I see as I walk around here today and I'm walking around town and I look down here, it's good to see that mullets are making a strong comeback. You know? My dad never would let me grow a mullet, and I still kind of resent it. I tell you what, boys, grow it while you can, because when God takes it back, your options are limited. All right, we're getting our hoses reeled in, everything taken care of there. You know, I was driving through Fountain Green. How many of y'all in Fountain Green know my buddy Claude Pickett up there? Y'all know Claude? Well, Claude was the cop in Fountain Green. I'm driving through one night about two in the morning. Claude decides to pull me over. He says, have you been drinking? Your eyes are really bloodshot. And I says, no, Claude, I've not been drinking. It's bloodshot. My eyes are bloodshot because it's the middle of the night and I've been driving a long time. He goes, well, I don't know if I believe you. I says, you can't judge me like that, Claude. He says, well, I believe I can. I says, well, then turn around, it's fair play. I says, your eyes look kind of glazed over. Have you been eating donuts? <laughs> he let me off with a warning that time. Claude's a good man. I appreciate him not adding to my insurance premiums by writing me a ticket. Apparently, the speed limit in Fountain Green is not daylight hours only. <laughs> Alrighty folks, our next challenge is going to be the sawing and chopping of the log. Four members in full wildland PPE, leather boots, no match pants, no match shirt, leather gloves, hair protection, safety eye protection, and hard hat. We'll lift and carry a log from the starting point to the designated work area. The fifth member will be at said designated work area dressed in full chainsaw protective gear. Alrighty. When the log is in the designated work area, the team member that is dressed in full chainsaw protective gear will use the chainsaw that they will start when the log is on the ground. Okay? And they will saw two short lengths off the log. One member of the team will then begin chopping the long part of the log in half as this member gets tired. They can trade off with another member from the team, which will also be dressed in full P. P. E. Gear. First team to chop their log in half wins. Now folks, no trees were harmed in the making of this challenge. Actually that's not true. Alrighty, let's get our logs set up. So we got to cut a couple chunks off the log, then we're going to take the long part of the log and somebody's going to chop it in half. Now folks, it's code that if you live in Sandby County for longer than 20 minutes at any point in your life, you must be proficient with a chainsaw and an axe. 
If you are not, your San Pete County citizenship is subject to revocation. I went on a scout camp out one time, took my favorite double bitted axe my dad gave me for Christmas. As I went fishing, I told everybody, don't touch my axe. It's sharp. Of course, five minutes later, I hear a blood curdling scream run back to the camp, only to find my good buddy with my double bitted axe buried in his shed. I told him it was sharp. Although we must give him a little bit of leeway, he was originally from California. Do we have any California transplants here with us tonight? People, people that have seen the light and moved away from the madness. Welcome to San Pete County. We hope your life is full of joy and happiness as you enjoy everything San Pete County has to offer. Are we ready out there? We got our chainsaws ready. Good, we, we know who's gonna be swinging the ax. First, gonna carry the log, we are ready to go. Mount Pleasant, are you ready? Indianola, are you ready? You'll be a minute. Manti, are we ready this time? Gunnison, are you ready? Fountain Green, are you with me? All right. Yes. All right, as soon as my official scorekeeper down on the ground gives me the thumbs up, we will start the countdown. It appears that we're almost ready to go. Are we ready, are we ready? No. Who's holding us up? You guys sharpen your chainsaws very often. My dear old daddy used to get all over me if he saw my chainsaw throwing dust and not long shaving. The cardinal sin of his was to ever have anything. Are we ready yet? All righty, folks, let's give them a countdown. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Chainsaw's fired up. They got to cut a couple pieces off here. There's one end cut off. Oh, there's another end cut off. All right, now we're swinging the axe. I see some short chops and I see a couple of big old long smooth strokes. Now if they get tired, they can trade off. Now folks, be careful swinging that axe. You're going to want those fingers and toes, all of them eventually down the line. You will miss them. A good buddy of mine's missing a couple fingers because he was holding the cat down for his brother to trim its tail one day and it all went awry. They're still swinging the axe. Gunnison looks like they're doing pretty good. Holy cow, look at that, look at that, look at that. Mount Pleasant. Mount Pleasant comes storming back for the first place win. How are my Templars doing? Indianola, come on now, you kind of set the expectation bar pretty high. Gunnison still slaving away down there. Mount Pleasant with the win. Indianola with the second place. I'll tell you what, Indianola, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. 
Come on, Peddlers. Let's go, man. Ty, swing that axe. Gunnison! Gunnison comes through with the third place. Or Fountain Green. Fountain Green. My bad, my bad. That man is not on swing axe, dude. Fountain Green, third place. All right. Gunnison got theirs. Fourth place. And Manti. 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 Fifth place. All righty. Mount Pleasant. Represent. Where's my North Sanford people out there? All right. Good job. Good job. Indianola, once again, strong showing from the independent commonwealth of the union of the states of Indianola. Alrighty, folks, I like it. No fingers, no toes were injured in this challenge. Everybody's healthy, everybody's doing well. Alright, next up folks, the next challenge is the bladder bag. Four members in full wildland PPE gear starting at the back of the truck. Teams will get an empty bladder bag out of the truck and assemble. Members will need to start the truck's pump and fill with enough water to extinguish the fire. The team will extinguish the fire with the bladder bag and cold trail the coals with the tool of their choice then empty the bag and return it back to the truck first team back to the truck wins the challenge now, folks i gotta be honest with you i'm pretty impressed with indianola i would say i'm impressed with mount pleasant but as a born and bred Templar, I just cannot bring myself to utter those words. Although they are doing well. Gunnison Bulldogs, they're making a good show. Fountain Green's warming up. Manti, Manti, Manti. Who's in charge down there, that Manti outfit? You're going to be summoned to the White House. You're going to want to go over your game plan. <laughs> Back here enjoying some nice nachos that we got brought over to us. Thank you, thank you. We got anybody here from Wales? Wales, Utah, where are you? I hear like all four of them. Who else are we missing? We got any Chesteronians here? How about Axdale? We got anybody from Axdale here? Mayfield? Or as my buddy Buckaroo used to say it, Mayfield? Now I can see the Gunnison truck. Is there anybody here from Centerville? Is it okay if I just say that you're from Gunnison? Is that alright? Or is there a distinction between the two? They merge police departments. Yeah, because they all go to scout camp together. That's how you really know the community. Alright, I see a couple fires burning down there. I like it. Looks nice and warm and toasty. Now, I've been told that every fire department 
has at least one guy that they worry is deep down inside a legitimate pyromaniac that's going to go set fire so they can all go put the house out by. Does every department have a legit pyromaniac on the department? It's a fine line. Am I the only one that when you drive by a new development or a new apartment building and it's all just two by fours and wafer board, I think you could really get a bonfire going there. That'd make a heck of a fire. Right? Manti, why is your fire so weak? Huh? Or is it strategic that it won't take as long to put out a small fire? Let's get Manti's fire going. Somebody needs to light a fire under Manti, literally and figuratively. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Get that fire burning bright. That's what I'm talking about. That'll send your bullet. I should have just rebelled against my dad and threw a bullet, and that's too late. Yeah, it looked like Hulk Hogan if I drew a bullet minus the muscle. Alrighty, are we ready? Are we ready? Are our fires burning down there? They're not going to go out before. They look like they're burning. <laughs> Usually these guys have our time getting the fires out, but now we can't get them to burn. Alright, Indianola, you feeling good? Are you feeling good? Alright, Manti, are we ready for a strong comeback? Gunnison, you're going to keep the string alive, good strong fountain green, you, I mean you're doing alright. Mount Pleasant, yeah? Alrighty. Somebody let me, are we ready to go down there, judges? We're good? Alrighty, here we go. I'm going to give you the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one, go! Come on, man, side. Man, Green's looking strong. Gunnison's looking strong. Mount Pleasant's in the running. Man, side, man, side. Come on, come on, man, side. As the old timers would say, man, I.
Do our judges concur? Was Manti first? Judges? I'm not getting the confirmation down there. Yes? Man, I coming through with the win. Good job, good job. Mount Pleasant. Good job, Fountain Green. That was solid performance from Fountain Green. Now, Indianola, we might have stubbed our toe there for just a minute. It's okay, it's all right. What's, what's the conference down there? Is that right? We all right? There appears to be question over the man side fire. Did Manti, what, did their fire pass inspection? Yes, it did. It did. Manti once again extinguishes the fire and the light and the happiness of San Pete County. Good job, Manti. Come on, Manti folks, give them a hand. That's all right, they can't be first. It's a rough crowd. It's a rough crowd. All righty, folks. We are now going to remove the wild land trucks from the arena. We're going to bring the engines in. We're going to do the frozen t-shirt contest next. The frozen t-shirt contest. There's nothing about a frozen t-shirt that sounds comfortable. Gunnison pulls out. Mountain Green pulls out. Let's go, Man Eye. Man Eye City pulling out. Indian Owens loading up their truck. Pleasant's pulling out, Sterling's pulling out their truck. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank all of our sponsors. If you'll look at the all these great banners around the arena. We want to thank all these great companies for helping us out, sponsoring our events, helping us get the San Pete County Fair back on track. I want to thank our county commissioners. And of course, we want to thank the legend himself, Sheriff Buchanan, for overseeing the constant chaos that is San Pete County. I grew up here, I know what it's like. Don't forget folks, you can head on over and get your grub at the concession stand. Frozen t-shirt contest coming up. Also, ladies and gentlemen, just to remind everybody, in Gunnison, September 10th and 11th, there's going to be the Rough March. The 10th at 5 p.m. Park. They're going to get it all going until the next morning. On the morning of September 11th, the Rough March. So head on over. you see the flags over there. The tent of the Red Roof. Head on over there and see them. They'll give you all the details. Get you signed up.
Sterling Fire Department. So if I got this right, if you call the Sterling Fire Department, what you get is a trailer full of blue barrels with water. They siphon the barrels into the bucket, and then the bucket puts the water on the fire. Ready to go. 
Now we got these fine youth in San B County. They gotta give a t-shirt out, get the ice off of it, get it open and put it on. Alright? This is not gonna be warm. Luckily, San B County kids are tough. At least some of them are. We know the ones from Indianola or something. Are we ready? You got the shirts handed out? You got your shirts handed out? Are we ready to go? Alright, you got to get the shirt open and put it on. Ready? On your mark. Get set. Go. Oh, they got weapons now. That's going to be a mud ball by the time you're done with it. You're going to break the shirt. That's not going to be a t-shirt when you're done with it. That's going to be a San Pete County life meter special. <laughs> Come on now. I don't mean to put negative energy out there, but it appears to me like the t-shirts are winning. We got some lemonade back here. Look at that, lemonade. Oh, that's good lemonade. How are we coming? Hey, now somebody just threw the kid. Is that a water bottle somebody's doing? Got a water bottle out there. He's breaking it on the water bottle. I don't know. This might be an effort of utility here. I must say though, I didn't know this younger generation could be so dedicated to what seems to be an impossible task. Watching these kids work on this gives me hope in our youth. Still working on it. Oh, we got all kinds of frisbee rings going up into the stands now. I'm gaining weight back here, man. I'm going to have to go home for about a minute and work out. coming out there. Oh, I see we're making some progress. As my Canadian friends would say, I'm making progress on my project. Okay. Looks like we got all the engines fired up back there and almost ready to go. As soon as somebody gets on the t-shirt out here and wins this competition. Come on, come on. Hurry up, Wyatt. Get the t-shirt on there. Come on, Wyatt. Do that bullet proud. Get that t-shirt on there, cowboy. Wow, looks like he's 
He's almost there. He's almost there. Exactly. Oh, wow. You're almost there. We got a couple others out there. We're getting close. Getting close. Oh. We have a winner. Jake. Jake. The power of the mullet has shown itself. Good job, Jane. Good job. Leave it to one of the Cox boys to be good at something that really doesn't serve any of us. Good job, Jaden. I'm sure your daddy will be proud. All right, kids. You can take those t-shirts with you. Go sit on them for a while. That'll warm them up. Go let the county commissioners hang on to them. They got enough hot air. They'll thaw them out in a minute. Do we have any county commissioners with us tonight? Yeah, I see a couple of them. Alrighty folks, let's bring in the engines. Are they ready? Let's bring them in. I want to remind everybody we got the junior rodeo tomorrow night, right here, 7 o'clock. Official color of Gunnison's engine there. Would you call that a lion green? Close enough. Of course, Mantise is white. Being all angelic and all like we are. Lion green's red. Mount Pleasant's red. Moroni, where'd you guys come from? The Independent Republic of Indianola is back.
getting everything out here and ready to go. We are now into the next phase, folks. Next up, we got the turnout race. Five members start in the fire truck. Seatbelts on, doors shut, hands in the air. That should come easy to their good friends in North San Pete. They're used to being held up by the police. Hands in the air. Shoes are optional. When I say go, four members run to their turnouts, put them on correctly, air packs included. You can have a tarp to put your gear on, or a board, some of them do. The fifth member stays in the truck. All four members race back to their truck and touch the bumper. The fifth member then turns on the lights and siren. First team with the truck with lights and siren on, wins the race. So they're getting all their stuff laid out. We understand we have the Lone Ranger from Mayfield, is that right? But my field has a real live fireman. I tried the battery and then the battery died and then I put it on the truck to put the battery down and it still doesn't want to work. Yeah. Okay. Alright. And also another thing, I also set the camera up higher because like the splash zone isn't kinda in the middle of where I was. I didn't want to really want to risk that. So I kinda it's a little bit higher. Is that right? Is that right? Really Mayfield? Okay, alright. Okay. You're rolling from Mayville? Well, we're glad you're here to represent. Are we ready? How close are we? You got to get in the truck with your hands up. Man. Sampy folks are used to having that many people in a vehicle that big without handcuffs being involved. You got Fountain Green, Mount Pleasant, Gunnison, Manti. We got the Moroni engine here. And we have the San Pete County Special Forces, also known as Indian Oil. The San Pete County Special Tactics Squad of all things specialty, Indianola.
They're telling me Spring City was the reigning champions and they didn't even want to show up. They heard Indianola was coming. They come up with excuses not to be here. Something about the mule getting sick, couldn't pull the wagon out of it. Are we about ready down there, boys? Now they're all supposed to be in the truck. Hey, Indianola, I foresee a problem. You gotta have four of you in the truck. How's that gonna work? What I just heard from Indianola is the rules don't pertain to them. All right. We're ready. We're ready. Here we go. Let's count them down, folks. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Come on, man, Ty. Come on, Mad Ty, pretend like you're running to the post office to get your mission call. Or Sam Pink, pretend like you're running from the cops. Jonathan, I don't know why you'd be running. Come on, man, Ty. Come on, man, I. How pleasant. How green. They both look like they're doing pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. Man, Ty, you had a back. Come on, come on, come on. You got to be able to... Denison Mountain Green Man Time Mountain Pleasant Denison Mountain Green Alright, alright, alright Man Time Mount Pleasant Denison Gunnison, Foundry. <laughs> All righty, folks. Manti, is that right? Is that a legit victory by the Manti? I like it. I like it. Manti coming on strong. Coming on strong. Okay. Did everybody get their gear on right? You gotta have it on right. I got a kid in the military. He says you put your gear on wrong, you fail. You gotta start all over. And they're mean about it. Manti wins the turnout race. I like it. Oh, <laughs> 
charge real quick. Because it didn't work as a gopher. What is wrong with that GoPro? <laughs> yeah, GoPro didn't want to turn on, I guess. I don't know.
Looks like mankind's all crashing up. Tennyson's ready to go. I'd imagine more Sampy probably about ready to go. Now, boys and girls, let me remind you, after we say start, if you touch your truck again, you will be disqualified. You cannot touch your truck after it gets, after we say go. All right? Indian Oil ready. Are you ready? Indian Oil ready? Ready. My presence and family. All right, let's count them down, folks. Let's count them down. Five, four, three. Oh, my goodness, Dennison did it. <laughs> Whoops, I can hit the other up there. And a group of random hellion redneck kids out of the stands that will be selected by some less than scientific way. How is this last event, dude? This battery's getting low, man. Is that right? We ready to go? We got our royalty? We got them all down there?
Yeah, you look like you'd be more for cool. <laughs> Oh, yeah. You have a good daddy. He's a good man. All right, we got our teams ready to go out there. Our youth team. Are you ready? We're ready, all right. Let's count them down. Let's see who does it. The royalty, the junior royalty, or the random group of redneck kids. Here we go. Five, four, three, two. One, go! The pressure so much, dude. There's no way they did it. Looks like you have a pedestal that's happening out there, there, there. Is that a royalty? Did a royalty win or a junior royalty? Royalty? Looks like a random group of red left kids from Santee did pretty good. Yeah, I think I wasn't down there. I was on soap. Do it again. Go Yeah, 66 right now. Dude, it's becoming fall, which I like, but don't like it the same time. So, like, I don't mind going to leather. Like, oh, no. So
folks. Once we figure out who the winning team is, we have a, a final challenge of the evening. We're calling it the mystery game. And they're telling me to tell you to stop spraying the crowd. As fun as it is. I am so thankful for this doctor, dude. I don't want to be able to compete in the mystery night. challenge. So, like, walk the There's a final prize money. I'm the so rules so of the mystery game will not be the case until the event starts. Sounds like an election. <laughs> we make the rules as we go. Yeah, that's another 
got it back. figured out. As soon as I know, you'll know. So here's how this is going to work. Each of these three departments is going to get random civilians out of this grandstand. They then have a series of tasks involving the controls of their engine that they have to tell this individual how to do. The department who relays the best information and whose random San Pete citizen performs the best in their engine wins the challenge. Alrighty. I believe they gotta run the pump and push the barrel. And please be careful on the wet bleachers. We're not going to spray the bleachers anymore. No more crowd soaking. We know it's getting chilly.
Jim Coach tomorrow night, the Junior Rodeo right here in the arena. Don't watch all the San Pete County's youngest and toughest cowboys and cowgirls compete. It's always a good time. Down there, we're about ready to go. Now, I got no, ladies and gentlemen, who's the crowd favorite is. How many of you think Fountain Green's gonna do it? Alright, alright. How many of you think Mount Pleasant's gonna win? How many of you think good old man Ty's gonna come through the big two? That's what I'm talking about right there. You know, as I uh, travel the country doing different events, people tell me all the time, hey, I got somebody in my family from San Pete County. I say, oh yeah, where are that? And they say, well, they live in Fairview. And I say, no, 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 no. That's North San Pete. And it's a whole other world up there. Everything for me from South to San Pete down till about Gunnison. Then it's gone. Everything north of Ibram is North San Pete. It's like Afghanistan, Pakistan. Not the same. It's getting a little windy. It's getting a little breezy. Are we about ready down there? changing the game now or are we still good? <laughs> I'd say we could just have a spelling contest. But then Manti would for sure win. <laughs> lives in North San Pete. I wonder if she's here tonight. Darla, are you here? My sister married in North San Pete. Right. Yeah, my sister married in North San Pete. Good North Saint Peter too. I like him. Scott's a good guy. Anybody would put up with my sister would have to be. Is that I'm just kidding, Darla. <laughs> Everybody on work release is going to have to go back before we go in here. <laughs> Simeon, can you get a moving down there? Come on. Crack the 
the whip on Who's the boss down there? Let's go. One of the Gunnison guys' boots came unlaced and they're trying to figure it out. like we're getting our contestants rounded up. Getting our contestants rounded up. Getting them educated, telling them what to do. Show them what's going on. Are we about ready down there? We're getting close. Anybody here going to drive in the Derby next week? Yes, sir. Anybody working on your cars? Derby's always a good time. Rodeo, of course. Are you ready? Five, 